Hey guys, Tamara here. So great to see you. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a quick and dirty Pilates thigh and glute workout for you. You're gonna love it, so go ahead and grab your mat and we'll get started. Stay tuned. All right guys, let's get started. You're gonna lay on your side, bend your knees into a 90 degree angle, shoulders in line with your hips, hips in line with your knees. Now the whole time we're gonna be working our hips and thighs, but keep the abdominals pulled in, shoulders relaxed, I'll be sure to remind you. And always think of reaching your tailbone, your tush, out in this direction. The tendency when things get hard in this series is to kind of start tucking the tailbone and crunching through the whole body. Try and keep it nice and long and everything relaxed. All right, let's get started. You're gonna lift and lower. Just kind of establishing the position, starting to warm up our gluteus medius, which is like the side glute muscle, which we're primarily working here. Seven more, seven. The foot is just nice and relaxed. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the feet together as you open the knee for clam and close. Open and close. Good. So make sure the hips stay stacked one on top of the other. Sometimes we want to try and move the hips back to get a wider opening of the leg. It's okay if it's small. You really want to focus more on the position of the hips and the alignment than about the range of motion here. Four more. Four, three, two. Keep that knee open. Now bring your knees together and lift the top foot up. And tap the toes, tap the knees. Tap and close. Good. Eight, seven, check the shoulders, and six, five, four, if you want to challenge, you can bring your hand back behind the head, three, two, keep the knees together, and now reach that leg out, really engage right here, and bring it in, and reach, straighten the leg, and in, good, eight, and seven long legs and six, five. Remember, keeping the belly button pulled in, tailbone reaching towards the edge of the mat. Four, three, two, last one. Reach it out, lower it down, flex. Now pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Point your foot, bring that leg in. Don't lower it down. Little pulse now to finish. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, it's burning. Six, keep with it. Five, four, three, two. Lift up and hold. And lower it down. Good. All right, pat it out a little bit. And let's sit up and swing around to the other side. And go ahead and lay back down, bend the knees in, reset, reach that tailbone nice and long, belly button pulled in, and lift right into it, and lift, lower, good, eight, seven, six, now this side may feel a little bit harder because you've already worked the other leg, that's totally normal, and four more, four, I feel a lot harder on this side too. Three, two, and now we'll go into clams. And open the knee and close. Hips stay stacked, really isolating the movement through the hip joint, opening and closing. Don't worry about the range of motion, just focus on your alignment. And six, five, four, three, Two, you're gonna keep this last one open, open, and now knees and toes, and knees and toes, good. You're gonna love how you feel after you do the workout, even though it may be quite painful right now. You're gonna love the benefits of it, that's why I do it. Five more, five, four, 
three, keep breathing, two, and one, tap the toes, knees together, and out, and in, good, reach, and in, try and straighten the leg all the way out, bend all the way in, seven, six, five, four, you have this, and three more, three, two, keep pulling the belly button in, last one, lower the toe down, pulse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it in, last, ten, nine, eight, just little movements, and six, five, four, three, two, lift up and hold, and lower down. Great job. Pat it out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna lay on our back and do a little stretch for the hips. Get nice and comfortable. Cross your ankle over your knee and pull that thigh towards you. This stretch is the piriformis muscle. It's actually a great exercise or stretch to do nearly every day. And if it feels really tight, you're not the only one. Everybody needs this stretch. You can take your hand, press it on your knee to a little bit deeper stretch. If it feels good, rock back and forth a little bit. Take an inhale and exhale. All right, switch sides and pull it in. Breathe in and breathe out. Little extra push. A little rocking back and forth. Should feel pretty nice in the lower spine as well. Okay, hands underneath your thighs. Go ahead and sit up. And great job, guys. So I just wanna finish this video with a couple thoughts I had. Um, there's this recent thing in our culture about women trying to have a thigh gap and doing these exercises to try and create space between our thighs, which sometimes and most times just anatomically impossible. And you know, I want you guys to work out for your thighs just because you want to strengthen them and maybe you want to look good and that's fine, but really realizing that our beauty and our worth does not come from space between our limbs. <laughs> so just stick with it, guys. You guys are doing great. And just remember that regardless of the size of your thighs or how tight or not tight they are, you are uniquely and wonderfully made and beautiful. So just take that thought with you. Great job, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Good work, keep going. We're gonna do single straight leg stretch, curl the head up, legs up towards the ceiling, pull your right leg towards your chest, lower the leg just to 45 degrees, no lower, and switch and switch and switch. Now make sure that as the leg lowers, it's only to 45 degrees. So you really use your core to keep that leg at 45 and no lower. Pull the leg in towards your chest for a hamstring stretch. Try and reach for the calf or the ankle, or if you can, your foot, keeping the shoulders relaxed, scooping the belly, hands behind your head, flex the feet, now quick scissors, kick, 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 really anchor the hips down to the floor, and now zip the legs together. Bring your hands underneath your hips. Good work, keep going. We're gonna do single straight leg stretch, curl the head up, legs up towards the ceiling. Pull your right leg towards your chest, lower the leg just to 45 degrees, no lower, and switch, and switch, and switch. Now make sure that as the leg lowers, it's only to 45 degrees. So you really use your core to keep that leg at 45 and no lower. Pull the leg in towards your chest for a hamstring stretch. Try and reach for the calf or the ankle, or if you can, your foot, keeping the shoulders relaxed, scooping the belly, hands behind your head, flex the feet, now quick scissors. Kick, 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 really anchor the hips down to the floor, and now zip the legs together. Bring your hands underneath your hips. 